we might be able to identify problems and issues and we might be able to help other people solve them in our own community. We teach intro to engineering design, principles of engineering, digital electronics, and then they take an engineering design and development course, which is the senior capstone. But while you're doing that, if you can let them loose to be in a club setting where they're just getting after something, then they can experience the fun of creating something while they're still incorporating those skill sets as they go along. This is the distribution of the modules right here. We really push a lot of our students to go into engineering club because then they can get involved in real world projects right away. Even as a freshman, you can become the leader of a distinguishing, world-changing project that's socially impacting. This is an air stone. Basically, we have a pump here, and it just takes the air, pumps it through this tube into the water. It's so important to take students that are passionate about things and give them ownership of something to the point where they want to invest a lot of their time and energy and space into it because it's important to them. We want the pH levels to be between 7 and 8, and 8 is maximum. We're going to do the nitrates first, the pink bottle. Five drops of nitrate. So this one's 8.0, looks like. I didn't really know what I enjoyed doing before I got here, so I went to the club after school when it first started, and Mr. Mateo mentioned this aquaponics, and I was like, I want to do that. I'm interested in that. That sounds really cool. Once that's pressed, the laser shoots up, and you plug your computer in for your design, and it makes the design. Ollie's teacher has asked, how can you use this in the real world? And then in this class, we actually can do that. If somebody really cares about something, there's a reason for their learning, so they become better students as part of it.